Hey Justine, Brody here from Pacific Toyota. Just gonna give you a quick virtual tour on this Mazda CX-30. Obviously a great looking car. I'll just go see if there's any sort of stone chips or anything like that on the car. I have had a quick look around it. It does look immaculate, but just to give you an exact idea, all nice and clean there, just a bit of dust on there. I do apologize, but coming through here, no scratches or anything like that I can point out to you. Heaps of tread left on that front tire there. No gutter rash or anything. Oh, there's a tiny little scratch just on the outside of that wheel there. Otherwise all nice and clean. Obviously the CX-30s, they've got this beautiful front grille on them. So just going through that one. That's all nice and clean as well. Give you a bit of a zoom out to get a bit of a look at the CX-30 here. Coming down the front left hand side. That's all nice and clean as well. There is a bit of gutter rash just on this outside of this wheel here that I did just want to point out to you. Otherwise, heaps of tread left in that tire there. Through the front windscreen, there's no chips or cracks or anything, just a bit of dust through there, but otherwise all nice and tidy. Coming up top here, again, I do apologize, just a bit of dust drops down from these shade sails, but there's no dense scratches, anything like that through there. Obviously, like I mentioned last time, all our cars do come with a clear history report. So they said they've uh, never been written off, never been stolen, and don't owe anyone any money. All right, through the rear bar now. Obviously, you do have your rear parking sensors on the back here. Those four little pucks that sit on the back. They're all nice and clean. Coming down the left-hand side, go through this wheel again. Tiny little bit of scratching just on the outside of the wheel there, but otherwise all nice and clean and heaps of tread left in the back tires as well. All right, coming up through the back, uh, sorry, the top left side, and then I'll come back through the doors here for you. There's nothing that I can really point out to you there. Looks like a really clean car outside. All right, I'll pop the, uh, pop the boot open now, just give you a good look in here. All right, so obviously a big boot space in the back of these CX-30s. Spare tires, just a space saver spare, so they're really just used to get you to a tire shop. Um, got your jack and tools in there as well. Otherwise, it's all nice and clean in the back here. All right, coming in the right-hand side for you. This wheel is all nice and clean, so no gutter rash or anything like that around that one. And again, like I said, heaps of tread left in that back tire. These little spots, they're just um, like the stuff they used to shine the tires. Obviously that can be cleaned off, so they're not, um, not stains or anything in the plastic. All right, again, up through the top and then I'll come back through the doors for you. It's all nice and clean through there. Same as the rear door. So outside, it's basically immaculate on the paint. Jumping into the interior for you. All nice and clean through there. Now, obviously the carpet flooring in these Mazdas, so it's all nice and clean. And obviously the fabric seats are all good. Uh, it does have your Isofix points for your car seats as well, just in the back there. And the seats look like they're in really good nick. They don't look like they've been really sat in too often. And through the back there, you do get air con vents in the back as well. So if you have anyone in the back, they're not gonna be too hot. Obviously keeps the whole car pretty warm. So jumping into the front now for you. All right, it's all nice and clean. Does have your mirror and window buttons and your central locking on the driver's door card there. A couple of light little scratches just on that kick card on the outside. Otherwise all nice and tidy. A Little bit of wear and tear just on your flooring there. Obviously from where you keep your driver's foot. Um, obviously the driver's seat's all nice and clean. Same as the passenger seat as well. And the carpet flooring on that side's all nice and tidy, same as the door card over there. All right, I'm jumping in now, so I will quickly start the car up for you. I've got this keys in my pocket. I'll just grab them out. So you do just have your one key being the um, a used vehicle, obviously. Just a push button start, so push that one in. Starts all nice and easy. Obviously it does have a full tank of fuel in it there for you. So 57,000 kilometers, no warning or engine lights or anything. Steering wheel's all nice and tidy. You got your modes and buttons and cruise control through there. You do have your eye stop button, your traction control, and your parking sensors button as well. Coming up through here, does have a heads up display. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the speed limit just there, but so you can see that heads up display just there off the windscreen. A nice setup through the Mazda, so the dash looks all nice and clean. 
all updated. You obviously have your um, head unit there. Sorry, the camera doesn't really show it too well, but um, just trying to move move that because the sun's getting in the way of the camera but obviously that's all on there got your aircon control so you've obviously got your fan speed temperatures and modes through there like I did just before push button start automatic transmission you've got a couple of cup holders up here now there is a couple of light little scratchings just around that little outside part um, that's going to be most pre-owned vehicles obviously you do have your little dial here for your head unit as well volume controls automatic handbrake there so as soon as you put that in drive that comes off you put it in back into park that'll go back on automatically as well so uh, maybe not automatically so maybe you have to pull it back on yeah sweet so pull it up to turn it on but once you put it in reverse or drive it comes straight back on obviously you got your reverse camera sitting there and parking sensors got your, all your buttons and motions to the left hand side of that um, the last thing I'll go through is just the service history just to give you an exact idea of how the car's been serviced so let me just pop that one open quickly for you now alright so coming through here you got the first service there at 10,000 20,000 30,000 40,000 50,000 and 57,000 so that most recent one was done by us here in Cairns so has just been serviced so it won't be due until 67,000 kilometres so another 10,000 kilometres worth of driving without needing another service as well so obviously extremely up to date and you're not going to have to pay for a service straight after you own the car so I will jump out now and give you one last look around the car obviously a really clean and good looking vehicle so I hope you enjoyed my virtual tour if you have any questions or anything like that please let me know Obviously, it will have the remainder of the factory warranty left on the car. We do offer that three-year vehicle protection plan that I spoke to you about last time we were speaking as well. Um, that can put three years or up to 175,000 kilometers extra warranty on there. Um, so do let us know if you want to add that one in, and we can organize that for you as well. But I hope you enjoyed the video on the Mazda, and I can't wait to hear what you think. Cheers.